Tocopherol isn't a single chemical. Instead, it's a range of compounds which have a generally similar effect. There are eight chemical alcohols which have a general association with vitamin E. They're essential for a health of the human body, especially in regard to the nervous system. There are two common forms, alpha tocopherol and gamma tocopherol, which, if added to the food, have the E numbers of E307 and E308, so that not all the E numbers are actually bad for you, just a case of knowing what they are and what they're doing in your food. Now, humans can't actually synthesize vitamin E, so we do need to obtain it from plants in our diet. Alpha tocopherol is the version that the human body prefers to absorb. It's generally present in green leafy vegetables, nuts, especially things like almonds, vegetable oils, and seeds. Gamma tocopherol can be found in breakfast cereals, fruit juices, and tomatoes, including my favorite food additive, tomato sauce. However, like many things in nutrition, too much vitamin E can cause as many problems as well as too little. But, unless food supplements are being taken, it's virtually impossible to get too much vitamin E in your diet. However, it can also be absorbed through the skin, and some creams and lotions do contain it. Now, whilst deficiency in vitamin E in the diet can cause some really serious problems, Unless you have an almost total meat diet or have some other medical conditions, you're unlikely not to get enough vitamin E since it's just present in so many different foods. Now, because vitamin E is fat soluble, most of the dietary problems that come along with a lack of vitamin E are related to this. So if you have things like uh, cystic fibrosis, Crohn's disease, a liver disease, a gastric band or a gastric bypass, then you may need to pay close attention your vitamin E levels. If you don't get the required levels of vitamin E, you can suffer damage to the nerves, retina, blood cells, and you can even have a general susceptibility to disease. It's possible that maintaining high levels of vitamin E in the body may slow age-related deterioration of these parts of the body like things like glaucoma and Parkinson's disease. The other action of these chemicals is in the role of an antioxidant why they're often used in skin lotions, but you can use this property to mitigate the damage caused by ultraviolet light or ozone. Deeper within the body, the role is to protect the body from free radicals, which, rather than being a group of terrorists, are the molecules in your body which have an unshared electron. This unshared electron is highly energetic and will react with oxygen to form reactive oxygen species. These are normally present in the body in really small amounts, but when the body's under stress or a result of absorbing cigarette smoke or other pollutants, the levels can rise dramatically. The high number of these can cause damage to the DNA within cells or an inflammatory response like heart disease. This can be countered by the action of these antioxidants like tocopherol. There is tocopherol, vitamin E, free radicals, all in one little package.